salty surprise. The winter holiday season is always special on the island of Sodor. There are presents and prizes and gifts and surprises for everyone. One snowy day, Edward and Thomas were at Brendam Docks. Thomas was shunting cars of brightly wrapped presents. Oh my, Thomas! The winter holiday season is my favorite time of the year. It's mine too, Edward. Just then, Salty trundled over. Hello, sweeties. Oh, that's a fine load of presents you have there. Everyone a surprise. That's right, Salty. Now I must hurry to deliver them to Napford Station. They must be there in time for the children's party. Salty, do you like presents and parties? Salty smiled. Oh, I don't have time for presents and parties, me hearty. <laughs> I love a good story, me. That's all I need. <laughs> Salty chugged away cheerfully. Edward wished worried. I'm sure a good story isn't all Salty needs. Salty needs a winter holiday present. I will find him one at once. Victor will have something for Salty. And Edward huffed happily away to the steamworks. Victor and Kevin were there. Hello, Victor. Hello, Kevin. I've come to find a winter holiday present for Salty. Well, that's a very good idea, Edward. Chuff around until you find something special for Salty. Thank you, Victor. Then Edward saw Rosie. She was shining and smiling with a bright new coat of paint. An idea flew into Edward's funnel. I will take Salty a pot of bright paint. So Edward chuffed cheerfully back to the docks and to Salty. Salty, I've brought you a happy winter holiday present. It's a pot of bright green paint. Now you can be as green as a Christmas tree. Salty was surprised. Oh, shiver me timbers, Edward. I've a story about green paint. Tell me, Salty. Ah, well, once long ago, there was no red paint on the island. So, Fens in charge painted me green. But then, no one could find me, because they were all still looking for a red engine. So, you see, I could never be painted green again. But I thank you, Edward, for your kindness. Edward's firebox fist. That was a good story. Salty <laughs> chuckled. I likes a good story, me. <laughs> so Edward clickety-clacked back along the track to the steamworks. Victor was surprised. Salty didn't want to be green. I must find him another present. Kevin Bean. I have one for you, Edward. Follow me. Kevin held high the fancy funnel. Edward Weesh worried. Salty's a diesel, Kevin. He doesn't need a funnel. I know, but this one is fancy. Edward had to agree. Salty might like a fancy funnel. So Edward raced like the wind all the way to Salty. Happy winter holiday, Salty. I brought you a fancy funnel. Now you will be the most special diesel on the whole of Sodor. Salty was surprised. Shiver me timbers, Edward. Ha! Ha ha! Ah! I've a story about fancy funnels. Please tell me, Salty. Ah! Well, once long ago, I was given a fancy funnel. Very like this one, me hearty. Cranky lowered it onto me. Then, the strangest thing happened. Ah, it shook and it shuddered. It wobbled and it wiggled. Till it rolled 
to the ground and into the sea. Splash, sploosh, never to be seen again. So, thank ye, Edward, for your kindness. But I won't be taken, your fancy funnel. Edward whistled. I see. That's a good story. Ah, that's right. Ha, I likes a good story, me. <laughs> so Edward steamed slowly away and left the fancy funnel with Kevin to find another winter holiday present for Salt. Now, Edward was worried. Oh, me. Oh, my. I must find a present for Salty. Then... Edward saw the Christmas trees. A Christmas tree? I'm sure that would be a very special winter holiday present for Salty. So Edward wished and he wished all the way back to Salty. Happy winter holiday, Salty. I've brought you a Christmas tree. Salty was surprised. Oh, shiver me timbers, Edward. <laughs> oh, I've a story about Christmas trees. Tell me, Salty, please. Ah, well, once, a long, long time ago, I was given a Christmas tree, me hearty. Ah, it was grand. Ah, it was green. It was great. But, <laughs> the smell of the sea made it sickly. That shriveled. It shrunk, and it shook like a wobbly weed. So, I thank you, Edward, for your kindness, but I won't be taking your tree. Edward felt terrible. Oh, me. Oh, my. All I wanted to do was to give you a winter holiday present. And I haven't. Oh, but you have, Edward. <laughs> think me hearty. What do I like most of all? Edward thought, and he thought. A story! Of course! That's what you've been telling me all along! That's right, Edward! I've given you a story! And I thank you, Edward. <laughs> now, gather round, me hearties, and listen to me story. So Edward and his friends gathered round Salty, and Salty began. Once, a kind and wise engine, called Edward, wanted to give an old red diesel a winter holiday present. So away he went, a-looking around the island. And what that kind and wise engine called Edward gave Salty was just what that old red diesel wanted. A new story to tell. That was a wonderful story, Salty. Then Sir Topham had arrived, dressed as Santa Claus. Happy winter holidays to all our friends at the docks. All the engines tooted and hooted, and Edward whistled loudest of all. <laughs> <laughs>